Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Kevin with East Cape Skiffs. Uh, we got a very special Vantage today. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the boat, where it's going, why they chose it, and all that good stuff. So, some good footage coming here. And again, here's another first for the industry. Uh, we got approached uh, probably about a good five months ago. And uh, uh, the Blackfly Lodge, uh, Clint, Vaughn, Dave Byler, Gene, the whole staff, uh, they needed to get some uh, new boats for the new lodge. Uh, they have some other brands and where they fished they needed to cross big water and still float skinny. Also be stable, have plenty of storage for clients and be able to meet the needs. At first they came to us wanting to buy a fleet of mixed, meaning they wanted to buy you know a couple of smaller boats like Cayman Fury uh, and Advantage for the big crossing. Well, uh, Mark and I and the staff, we addressed their needs and we told them, listen, we can build a Vantage with a 90 that'll do everything that you want it to do. They were a little skeptical at first, so uh, they flew back down, uh, you know, when I had a boat ready for them to demo. And we went out to Mosquito Lagoon, and it was really windy that day. We ran out on, you know, the lagoon, we pulled around, they saw how skinny it was, and we ran the river, uh, we ran beachside, and, you know, Clint, uh, one of the owners, looked at me and smiled and said, you know, I didn't believe it, but now I can. So, with that being said, uh, here's their boats. This is one of five going to the Blackfly, Lo Blackfly Lodge in the uh, Bahamas, in the Abaco area. They had a vision, they had to have stuff that needed to meet their needs and we were happy to accommodate. First of all, let's start off with uh, the bow. We have a two-tone all-grip package going on with the stainless steel Lavorsi lights. We also have one of three platforms. They have their traditional casting platform with removable lean bar. That'll go on the hatch as well as up front. They want to accommodate the younger generation, the older generation. Um, this right here is one of the three platforms you see. This is a lean bar with a seat on it. And basically, walking around, it allows the client to sit here if they're fighting a poon or a permit, if he's an older guy and he's not sure about the seas because they, they've left the flat and now they're heading out to the open water past a reef line. And the other thing it allows it to do is become a full lean bar. You can still strip your fly and everything. The cool part is, is this comes off. So all that's left is just the flush mount. We put aluminum plates into the deck that was vacuum infused. Uh, again, one of the little things that makes us different, the whole boat is fully infused. They also wanted a centerline flush mount cleat for when they tie off for you know, the bigger fish, the tarpon and stuff like that. So again, this is a pretty cool feature. They wanted something like this. Mark came up with the drawing. Our welding sh uh, staff being phenomenal and talented as they are, they, they, they accommodated by this. This is a really cool feature and I'm sure you're gonna see this on other boats as well as other boats by them in the future at the lodge. Then, they wanted a true, uh, they wanted a true lodge style boat. They're done with tillers. They're done with center consoles with the little jump seat stuff. They wanted to accommodate their clientele. I got back from Belize and I spent a lot of time at a Panga. But I kept telling myself, man, the Vantage would work awesome over there as a great guide boat. Eh, but the one thing that they wanted, they wanted a big wide seat. If, originally they wanted two twin seats. Mark, my partner said, you know, the problem with the twin seats is if you get a bigger guy, he's going to feel cramped. So what we decided to do was do a bench seat. And the reason why is, is if the guy's really huge, he could sit here or two bigger guys. Or if it's just one guy solo, it doesn't force one guy in a seat and another one to be off center. So he could sit right in the center. We, we made it to where they could put their foot up, put their foot down. They wanted to have storage for their, uh, for their luggage. So duffel bag, even a hard case Pelican when they're getting a writer, an outdoor writer and photographer for some of the uh, media magazines in the industry, they can put their Pelican case. They still have a ton of storage up at the bow and they have hatch and a hatch and all that other good stuff. But it's cool for their immediate needs right away. So again, this is another East Cape exclusive. I haven't seen this done yet. Also, instead of the console going straight down, it gives the illusion of more room, which it does. Uh, with all the pipe work and stuff, so it keeps everything really open. Then you got the traditional Black Fly Lodge logo. And by the way, I can walk the gunnel, or I can grab here if it's an older clientele, and he can get by. When they're sitting here, the captain's in the back, grabs the rods, puts them up, because after all, that's what you're paying for on the trip. Let the, let the guide do everything. So the rods go in, rods go out, hand it to the clientele, hey, Amon, hop to the bow. Bonefish, permit. So there you go. Gotta have the beverage holder. Love the Sims bottle opener. Um, 12 volt plug for when they're running at night, coming in late. Glove box for the captain. Things like cell phone, keys, wallet. Again, lockable, goes right there. All this foot room. So whether he's standing or sitting, plenty of open room. Very sturdy. They wanted a compass as a backup. 
because they don't run really GPS's. Uh, again, here's another first for them in the islands. They wanted raw power lightweight. Well, the Evinrude 90 delivers. So they, the, the lodge worked with Evinrude, um, Mike Moon and all the staff there, and they chose the 90 Evinrude. It's very light, very, uh, very strong, you know, it's got everything you need. So this is a great package for them. No live well, they wanted just a traditional cooler so it's not plumbed, it's insulated. Sides are open and empty, just your traditional, you know, uh, immediate storage. Again, for the captain. Half the boat is, is for the captain in, in the lodge. The other half up front is for the clients. Lean bars going in the back for when they want to fish op uh, ocean side for the captain. This is one of five. You're going to see some other different boats uh, coming from them that we're going to be building up. Little different variations and stuff because they're looking for a variety, but we are extremely pleased, and they are too, with the performance of this boat, the layout, and lastly, the fit and finish. So I say it all the time. This time I'm going to talk to the captains. All you captains out there and guys that are looking for a boat that'll go skinny, cross big water, and want the ultimate setup for a captain, bam, this is it. So this is like the guide setup. Clients up here, you're back here, everybody's happy, you can get to everything, they can still fight the fish and walk around. So again, versatility of the Vantage and versatility and customization of East Cape. As always, peace, take care, see ya.